है एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू वी एफ एक्स वाई वन सगेन सो स्टडे आई अपलोडेड वन रील ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम चैनल एंड इन केस यू हैव एंड फॉलोड माई इंस्टाग्राम चैनल दैन जस्ट गो टू फॉलो वी एफ एक्स वाई ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एज वेल सो आई हैव पोस्टेड वन वीडियो और वन रील ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड मेनी ऑफ यू वॉन्टेड टू नो हाउ आई डिड दैट प्रोजेक्ट विच विल बी द द होर्डिंग रिप्लेसमेंट काइंड ऑफ स्टफ एज वेल सो यस इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन डू एनी काइंड ऑफ होर्डिंग रिप्लेसमेंट इन साइड न्यूक सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो ओके एज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर आई हैव डन माई प्रोजेक्ट बट फॉर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट विद स्क्रैच सो कीप इट इन माइंड दैट यू कैन डू इट बाई यूजिंग योर प्लेनर ट्रैक or your 3d camera tracking as well so it's all up to you so in this case i am going to use my planar tracking so here i have very little movement but uh, camera is handheld so what i'm going to do i am going to hit tab and i'm going to type planar tracker in case you want to know planar tracker in detail you can go and check my previous videos on planar tracker probably i will add it in card or probably i will uh, give link to the description so after adding planar track i am going on first number frame and i'm going to draw a shape around my corners something like that it's not mandatory that it should be on edges it's not mandatory at all so after drawing shape what will happen anything any pattern is coming inside my spline this planar tracker is going to track it throughout the sequence right so once this is done i'll come back okay so my tracking has been done and let's see if it's sliding or not so i'll scrub through the timeline and just check it's sliding or not but i think it's going perfectly fine after that what i need to do just i need to switch on the display grid grid lines and after that i have to switch on the correct plane so i'm going to first number frame because i have drawn my shape on first number frame and i'm going to adjust my corner as per my requirement which will be i'm going to arrange it on corners of my holding so something like that i'm going to arrange it and automatically what will happen my perspective will be matched so there will be some problem over here because i am not getting my corners so what i'll do i'll arrange this line and this line so automatically what will happen my corner will be match something like that so now what i'm going to do so i am going to use this information this tracking information to add my poster which we have seen earlier so what i have done i have created one poster over here as you can see and if i'm going to use a pre mult so automatically you can see i have created uh one poster so let me jump to photoshop and uh, i'll show you how i have done this okay i am inside my photoshop and as you can see over here i have already done on first frame so let me show it to you how, how i have done so as you can see uh my holding is in perspective so i have to match perspective of any element uh, which i am going to add on my holding so what i have done i'll go to just filter and here we have vanishing point and as you can see over here i have drawn my vanishing point inside my photoshop and after doing that what i have done i have adjusted my uh, poster in vanishing point so how we can do that just you can go over here and control a control c and just take a new layer something like that just take a new layer and select that layer and again go to vanishing point and just hit control v so what will happen your poster will automatically will be placed as per your perspectives but i am not going to do that because i already i have done so first thing first i have adjusted my vanishing point and just i have pasted uh, my poster in vanishing point and adjusted it and little bit i have done some color correction over here and i just exported it in png format so here i have so how we can do that i am going over here and so i am going to select it and over here i am going to uh, probably i can go to corner pin absolute baked right 
सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सपोर्ट इट यू कैन यूज कॉर्नर पिन एब्सोल्यूट बेक्ड और यू कैन यूज रिलेटिव बेक्ड इट्स ऑल अप टू यू राइट सो आई एम गोइंग टू कॉर्नर पिन टू डी रिलेटिव बेक्ड सो इट्स इट्स ऑल अप टू यू आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड वाई वी हैव टू यूज एब्सोल्यूट एंड वाई वी हैव टू यूज रिलेटिव सो इट्स ऑल अप टू यू सो आई एम गोइंग टू कनेक्ट दिस एंड एज आई एम गोइंग टू कनेक्ट दिस यू कैन ईजली सी दिस डेटा इज मूविंग विद माई banner right which i have created in photoshop so once this is done what i am going to do i am going to take a merge node and this will be my background and this will be my foreground something like that so as you can see it's perfectly placed because i have matched the perspective in photoshop and i am going to add my tracking data in nuke so this uh, something has been done but it's not looking real it's looking like we are posting something right because you can see uh, if if you can see my holding is that much dirty but uh, my this poster is not that much dirty so what i'm going to do i have few dirt texture over here right so what i'm going to do i am going to add that dirt basically i have this and i have this alpha so i am going to take merge node and i am going to multiply it so what will happen my rgb will be multiplied by my alpha i am going to put one over here so this is my multiply and after multiply i am going to use reformat node because this resolution is different and my composition is different so i have to reformat it and after reformat what i am going to do one more time either i can use uh, relative or i can use baked it's all up to us okay after connecting it what i am going to do i am going to take a transform node either i can i can use it before a reformat and let's adjust it as you can see my perspective is matched already so i am going to place it as per my corners and if i am seeing it you can see i have little uh, what we can say water leak is kind of stuff and it's again it's moving with my motion isn't it great right so if you want to add more dirt or some kind of dirt pattern so also you can do that so already i have this dirt you can do your ex own experiment so i am going to use this so this time i am not going to use as a texture I, you, this time i am going to use as a mask so uh, so that you will have idea a fair idea how we can do that so same way i am going to uh, copy paste my reformat node and i am going to copy paste my corner pin and this time let's start by adding a grid node over here and i am going to connect it correct and if i can see let me add a transform node so that i can adjust my position so let's see might be it's too big so i am going to scale it down a little and might be i can take this and not in alpha i am going to use red channel as a alpha so let it gain it down so something like that if i want to rotate it yes definitely i can rotate it add as per my requirement so as you can see over here i have a good uh, kind of dirt it's too black you can adjust it by doing this and might be i can add some tint or what but for this case it's okay fair enough also you can add few more dirt over here as well now the major part is uh, if you can see over here i am having a sunrise good amount of sunrise and the rays of sunrise or the uh, or the volume of sunrise is getting over here so but not in our case so what i'm going to do uh, just for an example i'm going to take a constant node and i'm going to pick that particular color right and i'm going to take a roto node and i'm going to do this something like that and might be i can hit e and i'm going to mask it so what will happen i will have this and i'm going to add it before my corner pin so what will happen i'm having a uh, this kind of haze and as you can see it's too much so it might possible i can lower down the mix and i can use a blur node as well and let's blur it a little so haze will be in good amount something like that and probably i can add one more grade and i can do something like i can lower down the gain probably not that much 
or might be I can set the black point and white point but in this case I don't think so it will be needed but if you want you can adjust your black point and white point I think it's too saturated then I can take another saturation node it's all up to you and might be I can desaturate a little because it's rough so why not to desaturate it right so I can do something like that it's all uh, experiment will be yours and if I'm going to play it you can see our banner has been replaced or banner has been added and it's going with the flow so I think this little tips and tricks will help you to understand the process of doing these kind of stuff and in future you are going to use it in your projects and it will help you to enhance your work as well so i think this video is helping you and if you think that this video is very helpful to you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wavex vibe signing off have a good day